In the backpacking world, backpacking umbrellas are pretty misunderstood. Some people use them and love them, but most people don't understand why you would want to carry an umbrella into the backcountry. Today's video is going to focus on the top 10 reasons why I think using an umbrella in the backcountry is essential and why it's my favorite piece of rain gear. And then at the end of the video, I'll throw in a few reasons why you might not want to use one and some of the downsides to umbrellas. So let's get started. So before I get to reason number one, if you are an umbrella user, leave a comment below because I'm trying to figure out how many people actually use umbrellas in the backcountry. I don't see them out there that often. When I do, the people rave about them. I don't see anyone that uses them and just absolutely hates them. But then again, they probably just aren't carrying them. So. Let me know what your thoughts on umbrellas in the backcountry are. Okay, reason number one why I like using an umbrella in the backcountry is hiking in the rain when it's warm, hot, or even slightly cool. If you've used a rain jacket and you've done serious hiking in it, you'll know that it's basically like a sauna. You're, you're heating in it, you're overheating, sweating, and you're getting soaking wet, not from the rain, but just from the sweat that's building up inside the jacket. It's not comfortable, kind of miserable, and maybe one of my least favorite parts about hiking. With an umbrella, you don't have to wear a rain jacket. You just pop it up, hold it up above you, and you get a nice breeze. You get airflow, so your sweat is being pulled away. And you can hike just like you would hike normally without having to worry about being in a sauna. You can go uphill, downhill. You can stop, eat a snack if you need to. If it's really raining, I'll pair an umbrella with a rain skirt. I'll stay dry, I'll stay cool. I mean, I've found no better way to deal with the rain. If you're a fast hiker and you find yourself overheating in rain jackets, definitely try an umbrella. Reason number two why I think umbrellas are great in the backcountry is during cold rains. So you might not think it, but in a cold rain, all of those little droplets that collect on your jacket and roll off, they're all sucking a little bit of your body heat away. And it's kind of acting like a cooler, so it's <laughs> bringing your body temperature down and freezing you out. With an umbrella, you keep those droplets from actually falling on yourself and they just kind of fall off to the side of the trail. So it keeps you a little bit warmer and helps you regulate your temperature better when you're in a cold rain. It's also worth pointing out that in snows, an umbrella can keep the snow off of you, keep you warmer, keep your base layer dry if you're wearing a base layer or a down jacket or something for some reason. An umbrella is good for keeping those dry. Reason number three is sun protection. So if you've hiked the PCT or the CDT or just basically done any desert hiking, you'll know that the sun can be absolutely brutal and there are times when there is absolutely no shade to be found around. So it's really nice to have an umbrella on those days. It does a few things. So it offers shade. These chrome umbrellas, which are fairly easy to find, reflect the sun away. So it's diverting some of the heat from you. It's giving you shade. It's letting a breeze still flow through. And it's just so much nicer to hike on a hot sunny day under an umbrella and not have to overheat. You, there are times on those long trails where people will siesta during the middle of the day so that they're not overheating. And with an umbrella you can really just hike through the middle of the day if you choose to. Additionally, if you do siesta, you might not have a shady spot around except for a cactus right next to you. So you can just pitch your umbrella, stick it over your head, take a little nap, and not get overly hot in the sun. It also acts as a great sunscreen. I know for myself in the southern CDT and PCT sections in the desert, I would use an umbrella to protect my arms and my face and not have to gunk up and get sweaty and nasty with sunscreen all the time. And that was a really nice feature as well. Reason number four is water catchment. This is one that not a lot of people think about, but in emergency or just normal low water situations, you can use your umbrella pitched upside down in the rain to catch water and collect water so you can filter it and drink it later. And you might not think that happens that often, but actually Tara and I used that a few times on the AT this last year. There was a time when we were camping at a shelter that did not have a water source, except for like two miles away. And it happened to be raining that day and we were considering moving on because we had to get some water. But because it was raining, we actually were able to stop at that shelter, throw out our umbrellas, and collect enough water not only for us, but for the others in the shelter as well. Reason number five for carrying an umbrella is for photography or videography. If you watch a lot of trail vlogs or videos from trail, you'll notice that you don't see a lot of rainy days. And those days are definitely happening, I'll guarantee you that. But what I think it mostly is, is most people don't want to risk their phone or their camera getting wet or just completely dying in the rain. If you have an umbrella, 
you can not only take videos, you can take photos, you can do time lapses, you can do all sorts of things safely with an umbrella on trail. And that's been essential for me last year when I was shooting on the AT. When it was raining out, I could get really cool shots and really cool sounds of the rain on the umbrella. And just those were not possible for me without an umbrella because it's just not worth the risk of completely ruining my one device on trail that I do everything on. Reason number six to have an umbrella is accessing your pack. If it's raining on trail, normally it's really hard to get into your pack. You don't want to risk it because if you open your pack, that's letting all of the rain and all of the water that's built up on your gear potentially get into your pack. With an umbrella, you can just hold it above the pack, dig down in and find what you need, whether that be a snack or some sort of electronic thing or even just your rain shell or rain skirt. It's much nicer to have rain coverage when you're doing that. I've also found that when I use an umbrella, it helps shed more of that rain off of my pack, so less of it's collecting on the pack, which is a nice feature. Reason number seven is a big one, and it is privy runs or cat hole runs. So if you've ever pooped in the rain on trail, you know that it's a disaster. It sucks, you're in the rain, you're getting soaked, you have to remove your clothing and dig a hole, and it's just not fun. When you're not constantly having to fend off the rain while you're doing that, it's a huge difference and it makes pooping in the rain much more comfortable. Even if you're just doing a run from an AT shelter to the privy, it's really nice to have an umbrella and not have to worry about getting wet and then drying back off once you get back into the shelter. Absolutely essential for that. Reason number eight to carry an umbrella on trail is helping to protect your tarp and keep you dry. On the CDT, I used an A-frame tarp, and while most days it gave me great coverage, there were a few times, especially on ridges, where the wind was just whipping the rain sideways and things were getting crazy. And when that happened, the door of my tarp would often leak in rain or rain would blow in through there. The nice thing is I had an umbrella so I could just pitch it and stake it down, stick it right in the door of my tarp, and that would keep all of the rain from splashing in and from blowing in and keep the rain from bouncing onto me or my head or my pack and just keep everything a lot more dry. So that's a nice little bonus reason to have an umbrella. Reason number nine is town days. Whether you're hitchhiking into town or you're doing your laundry and it's raining in town, it's just really handy to have an umbrella with you. I know there were a few times on the AT where we planned it to get into town when it started raining and that often meant we had to hitchhike in the rain or at least walk around town in the rain. And having an umbrella to keep you dry and safe was really nice. Especially when hitchhiking on the side of the road, it's just miserable and no one wants to pick you up if you're soaking wet. But if you have an umbrella, you stay dry, you're more visible, and people are much more likely to pick you up. Plus you can move the umbrella around and twirl it and get people's attention a lot more easily. Well, I just noticed my face was being blown out by the sun, so sorry for that. Reason number 10 for using an umbrella is kind of a hodgepodge of a few different reasons. First off, if you've ever been in a really long or extended rain in a backpacking rain jacket, you'll know that they tend to soak through and just get really wet and it's kind of miserable. Your jacket's sticking to your skin and it's not fun and like I mentioned in the first reason, you're overheating. The nice thing with an umbrella is because it's diverting the rain away from you, you're not getting soaked through even in a really long rain, if you're wearing a jacket and using an umbrella, your jacket still sheds the rain and it's not soaking through. Or if you're just using like a shirt, it's not soaking wet because you've got the umbrella to shed that rain off of you. Additionally, using a hood in the rain is nice because it keeps your face dry, but it often tends to collect rain and that rain streams down, at least for me, on my cheeks and it can get really cold and annoying or it follows my neck down in my jacket so I have this ice cold rainwater going down my jacket. That's not gonna happen with an umbrella. Just simple as that. Also, you don't have your hood up against your ears scratching and making all that noise for hours on end. And that, that seems like a small thing, but to me that's huge. It's really nice to be able to hear and hear the sound of the rain and the nature around me and not have that scrapey, scruffly sound on my ears all day from my hood. All right, well that's the top 10 reasons why I prefer using an umbrella on trail for rain gear. Now I'm gonna give you a few little bonus reasons why I like it that maybe aren't good enough to qualify for the top 10, but they are great reasons why I use an umbrella on trail. You can use the umbrella, the actual umbrella itself, unpitched, to pitch a little piece of your tarp. In an emergency, if you broke a trekking pole, you could use this as another pole for your tarp and pitch the kind of low end of your tarp with it. Or you can use it to jack up one side of your door 
to make a little like front porch area which gives you more room to cook or just to hang out in if you need to. You can poke things with it. You can scare off animals with it. So if there's a bear approaching, you can make a lot of noise and a lot of commotion by just doing that. I've never tested that really, but it seems like it would work. And finally, you just can't help but twirl this umbrella when you have it out. So you can perform off-Broadway, way off-Broadway musicals with your umbrella. Well, we're heading up to Sunfish Pond. It's raining a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> all right, well that wraps up all the good things. What about the bad things? There are definitely some times and places where it does not make sense to use an umbrella. So I figured I would go over some of those right now just to give you some contrast as to why you might not want to carry one, or at least why you might not carry it on certain trips. All right, first off, for extended rains, when you're holding this up all day, your arm does get tired. It's not much and you can switch it around keep it lively but after about 30 minutes to an hour especially when you're through hiking and your arms are basically t-rex arms it gets to be a little bit of a strain on your arm to hold it up all the time it's really not that bad though additionally because you're having to hold the umbrella you're gonna have to stash if you use trekking poles you're gonna have to stash one of your trekking poles in your pack or somewhere else so you can have that hand free to actually hold the umbrella. I find that I really just like to stash both of my poles so I have all my hands free and I can pass the umbrella around a little bit. But some people use one pole with their umbrella. I've done both. And it just depends on preference for that day. I have seen people that rig up their umbrellas with Velcro or some other pole system so that they can just stick them in their pack and walk with them and not have to use their hands to hold it. That can work, but really it's not ideal because if it's windy at all, or even if the rain is coming from different places, or if there's trees in your way or bushes, you need to be able to move your umbrella so that you're dodging the bushes or you're putting it where the rain is coming from. So it's really not ideal to have it mounted in one spot. I have done that a few times where I've tucked it behind my neck and under my chest strap so I have my hands free for doing something, but it's not really a long-term solution. And these final two reasons for not using an umbrella are the most critical, I think. They determine when and where you can use the umbrella. And if there's an argument against umbrellas, it's probably going to be one of these last two. First off, if you're on an exposed ridge that's really windy, or just a really windy spot in general, umbrellas can be tough to use. You have to point them into the wind, and they tend to flex a lot. If you do it wrong, you can end up breaking your umbrella at worst, or at best, you're kind of stuck with your umbrella pressed up against you really tight and just looking down at your feet trying to walk along slowly. So it's really not ideal for really high wind areas. There were times even on the AT where it was too windy to use my umbrella and I had to either just stick it up against my body or put it away and just suffer through with a rain jacket. Wind can be a killer and then finally tight spaces can be a killer. Now on the PCT and CDT I really didn't encounter too many places where I couldn't walk with an umbrella but on the AT it does happen. When I took the, um, this umbrella on the AT last year, I really wasn't sure how often I would use it. It was kind of a test to see if it would really work on the AT where, I mean, it's known as the green tunnel. It's not a wide open corridor. And I'll say 90% of the time, I could definitely use an umbrella and it was great. But that other 10% of the time, there were either branches overhanging or bushes that were in the trail or just trees that were too low that prohibited me from hiking with the umbrella. So in those situations where it's a really tight corridor and especially on trail that's not well maintained, and most of the AT is pretty well maintained so it's not an issue, but there are parts that aren't. In those situations, an umbrella is not ideal. You can kind of push the umbrella through the brush if it's just a short little burst, but if it's an extended run, you're just carrying an umbrella for no reason and risking damaging it on the bushes. That said, I still think it's worth it to use an umbrella on the AT and I would absolutely recommend it. Well, that wraps up the video. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you did like the video, prove it and hit that <laughs> thumbs up button and consider subscribing. See ya.